Yo ho, what is up guys? So as for the request of a Blade Dancer PvE full on skill build, this is what I came up with. So these are all the skills that will be put up into the description, but here's the explanation on why I picked some of the skills and some of the skills I did not pick. So here's where I'm at. So Oathbreaker, definitely, uh, like for the first two hits, it does a lot of damage, so it's definitely worth it. For the third or fourth hit, nah, I'm not quite sure whether it's that heavy, but nah. Decent enough to max it out. Now Grand Jetty, if you have the skill book, either rare or perfect this skill is awesome does a lot of damage it does like uh, double the hits uh, it's impaired with a big ass jump and ha only has five second cooldown so judging by those things definitely maxed it out now the cat scratches I don't use them for PvE all that much so I don't think they're that useful they're good for wave clearing but as for like boss damage there, it's questionable. So I took 15 points into it, and didn't get the 16 point because I needed like extra points left for other skills. Now, Black Rose Kick. Um, I've been going back and forth about this skill, whether to take it or not. And then, like, as of my new skill build, I was actually able to maximize it. So yeah, the priority on that skill. It's not that great. So let's move on. The pirouette strike, obviously one of the most damaging skills of Blade Dancer, so it's definitely worth maxing out. As for spin turn thrust, let, let me think actually. Like, I don't think the damage is really that great, or I use it all that much for PVE. But I think the traveling time and the distance is something you could very much use. Like, if you really want to go with it. You could like put one point into this and max out She Caused Wrath uh, because this one does a lot of damage and you use it for a skill book instead so it has about the same capacities but uh, with the skill book of Grand Jetty you can actually cancel uh, She Caused Wrath into Grand Jetty to still get the uh, what is it called the crit uh, buff and still do the same amount of damage so Spin Turn Thrust in my opinion you should max it out Dragon Dance does a lot of damage if you max it out and get the Dragon Dance book, especially if you get the P rare. There will be like 1k heals, 2k heals all of the time, so it's ridiculous. Now, I've been going back and forth about Triple Chase, but I kind of found out that uh, the more levels you put into it, the faster the skill actually becomes. Like, you will travel so much distance with the perfect rare skill book, and like the damage of uh, the scaling is not that great. So that's uh, that was one of the reasons why I got like the idea of not maxing it out. But I like the traveling speed. Uh, with the P rare book, you could do some damage with it. Uh, there's a lot of hits. There's about I think it does about eight hits on 150%. So it could do a lot of damage. Uh, necessarily, uh, nah, not really. Uh, what you could do instead is get the Nether Shroud maximized. But I don't really like the skill. The cooldown is very high compared to the triple chase. Triple chase is only 12 seconds, and Nether Shroud is like 20, 20 seconds plus. I don't know how much. Now, Dark Fallen Grave. Um, honestly, I'm not really a fan. Uh, both PVE and PVP. Uh, why? Like on PVE, uh, you have so much of a recovery frame where you cannot, like, you can read as much of the uh, enemy AI. But the moment you're stuck in a certain recovery frame, you cannot do shit. So it, it it could put you in a lot of bad situations. So as for the damage, if you get maximized gear, you can one-shot bosses all of the time. So that's one of the reasons why you could take it. But entirely necessary, meh, questionable at best. Now, as for all of the other skills, I tried to maximize E-Grab in my last build. Uh, did not work out as well. Like I don't go out of my way to actually do an e-grab to maximize my damage output because of the rotations and my um, like my cooldown timers. There's no need for me to actually maximize e-grab, so I didn't actually take it. Um, blaring silhouette. Now this does a lot of damage uh, as well as the aerial uh, silhouette aerial. Now if you get the skill book, uh, the perfect rare, for example on this skill book it does four times the damage and the scaling is out of this world it's probably like aside from the 
uh, pirouette, it could be the most damaging skill of Blade Dancer. So definitely maximize this out. Uh, what you could do is maximize out the auto attack one, but for that you would either need to lose out on, let's see, like Fierce Lash for instance, or something else. So whether that one is useful or not, just debatable. Now the skill buff is obviously one of the best things to do. Uh, grants you about 13 to 15 percent physical attack increase, so that does a lot. Now the spin turn thrust. With the skill book, even the perfect skill book, it only exceeds about 100k damage. So not really useful. So keep it at level one. As for the teleport, is always used for a 10 uh, level 10 teleport. If you still want to maximize out other skills, you can take points from this one as well. Now she costs wrath. Like I said, it's best for canceling into Grand Jetty. So only take it level one to get the crit buff. Silo Ariel already talked about this. The um, shift E grab. Now this is more of a PVE skill, but I found it to be useful against some of the monsters in uh, the tower, for instance, like. Uh, the pretty bitches with the staffs that shoot lasers, you can shift E grab them. There's this fire uh, element mage in like the 20 plus tower, you can shift E grab, interrupt him. And like a few other monsters, you can really use that for. Now, I've said that the Oathbreaker passive skill was not useful at all. Uh, but since you have a lot of points left, you could either pick. Um, what is it? The triple chase add-on for more HP region, which is not really that useful. You region about 35% per second, or no? Uh, it's about 40 HP uh, per second every single time for 20 seconds. Now, on a grand skill, uh, for 20 seconds you heal about 40. That would be about 800 HP extra. Now, I'm not opposed to 800 HP extra, so you could either like get this to zero, get this to max or vice versa so why pick one over the other like I like the HP region and impaired with most of the other skills like Dragon Dance you would be basically unkillable so in my opinion I would pick this one depending on how well the perfect rare skill book of triple chase is if you don't have the triple chase book this skill is fucking useless so if you don't have the skill book pick this one it gives about 30 32 or 34 extra strength as well as 7% uh, physical uh, defense so that's always it's always useful for like the party or whatever now as for all of the passives now I maximized everything beside of MP now this class is not as MP heavy and if you go full PVE you can always get MP region as well as potions for the extra so you don't really need the MP maximizer. Now why I took the crit is because you will need at least one weapon with um, like for instance Heaven's Glare is one of the best weapons of Blade Dancer but it doesn't have crit so with the crit passive you can actually reach out to the 70% crit with ease that's why I took the crit passive. Now as for all of the other passives uh, they give attack speed, movement speed, extra attack and the period strike obviously does more damage so that was it for the skill book if you have any questions or remarks about the skill book put them into the comments hope you guys liked it hope you guys learned a little thing about making your own skill book this was Twaby peace